Today at the WeRen shop, I'm disassembling the Audi S4 engine. Let's take care of the light work first. The right side engine mount is held in by four 8mm hex bolts. The AC hoses are unfastened at the compressor, and then we remove the turbo pressure pipe, and that allows me to access the left side engine mount bolts. When tearing down an engine, I try to remove things in clumps. I can see that the thermostat connects to these coolant lines, which lead to the oil cooler and beyond. So if you're strategic about it, you can pull it all off together to minimize confusion down the road. There are three 13 millimeter bolts that hold the AC compressor in. The vibration dampener is a total mess. I loosen the crankshaft center bolt, then use my bolt biter sockets to remove the crusty six millimeters all the way around. Next, the front cover comes off, then the timing belt tensioning roller, the hydraulic tensioner itself, tensioning lever, and the timing belt idler pulley. You remember what I said about removing stuff in clumps? If you loosen the power steering pump and the knock sensors on each side, this entire catastrophe of wiring and plumbing could come out in one piece. The dipstick will wiggle right out, and the last 10 millimeter bolt that holds the water pump in is now exposed, so we can get that out of there. Do you think I'm doing a good job? Let me know in the comments section.